Welcome back, YouTube. Let's jump straight in and look at Harley Quinn as we discuss our supervillains. We see that her health and her DPS put her kind of in the lower middle of the road range uh, of the supervillains when compared to, for example, the Riddler, who represents the low end of both, <laughs> uh, with his health being pretty, pretty low and his damage per second even lower still. And then, of course, we can compare him to someone like Mr. Freeze, uh, who represents the top of the health and is still doing more damage than Harley. So again, why would I use Harley when I have other characters with more health and with more DPS? You gotta read the pros and cons. She deals high damage. We just said kind of, sort of, really not too high damage, but you know, she deals damage. But she moves quickly and she evades attacks. Those are the two things you need to keep in mind as we continue this discussion of Harley, because if you're not using her, uh, you need to practice using her. She's going to be one of the most... If I if someone's not defending with Harley, I'm using Harley for an attack. Bottom line. She's, she's that great. And here is why. Let's jump straight into her active abilities. Uh, we see that the Jack of Hearts comes with the character, so immediately you get this skill, you don't have to unlock it. It is a basically like a grenade that you're throwing into a room, but it's going to pop open with a machine gun and shoot things and distract things, which is great. So what you want to do with this is you want to pull things, uh, pull your defense, their defensive troops uh, to this Jack of Hearts so that they're taking damage. Then we see it also explodes at the end, so you probably want to pull them to like a loony bin or to an auto turret so that when it does actually explode, uh, you can take out the loony bin or the auto turret. We see that the damage isn't really that extensive at tier 1. You gotta get it to tier 2. Absolutely make that a priority uh, if you have not already because now you're going to take out that loony bin. You're going to take out that auto turret and you don't have to get excessively close uh, to the loony bin or the auto turret to, to do damage. That can be helpful if you're trying to make your placement just perfect so that you can pull more troops to it uh, again, taking the pressure off of Harley and your supporting troops as they trickle into the room. Um, we also have, I have tier three unlocked, uh, which is increasing the duration. So I've got basically a nine second damage dealing tank that I tossed into the room, uh, causing chaos. Uh, ultimately, we could get it to tier four where it's increasing the damage of the Jack in the Box overall. So it's given me 59 uh, or would give me 59 DPS uh, for those nine seconds. And I think the, yeah, the explosion still the same so it's only tagging on four damage per second i'm really not ecstatic about that so i probably won't spend my last point on that one but it exists so if you really really love spamming the jack of arts go ahead and use that one um missed me absolutely absolutely necessary we said earlier in the stats uh she moves quickly and evades attacks it's referencing the missed me skill. These are active skills, so you have to choose when you're going to use them and use them wisely. At tier 1 or level 1, we see that Harley gains the movement speed uh, and a 50% chance to dodge attacks. So people are swinging at her, uh, people are shooting at her, she is able to dodge those. So you're taking half damage for 5 seconds at tier 1. At tier 2, missed, the miss me duration is doubled, so now you've got 10 seconds where you are uh, dodging which is brilliant, and you can see I went straight to tier 3. Miss Me also increases Harley's attack speed. Huge, huge benefit. So if you are in a situation where you just need to take something down as quick as possible, for example, you've got an auto turret shooting at you, um, not only is she dodging some of the bullets like the Matrix, but she is doing um, damage quicker than she would have otherwise. So hugely, hugely important uh, perk for me this is exactly why I went to level 3 as quickly as I could. Uh, we have passive skills. Now here again, like we saw with the Riddler, remember that these happen automatically. So for example, the mayhem, you want to time things in such a way that mayhem happens when you want it to happen. So when you're entering a room, for example, note here that the cooldown's 10 seconds. If mayhem just went off, like right now, and I'm about to enter another room, I might wait a few seconds so I have another mayhem ready to go. Um, so nine seconds later, okay, now I'm about to enter the room. Boom, there, it's going to trigger the mayhem on second 10. Why is that important? Because if you level it up, as you level it up, you're going to want to use the mayhem to most effect. 
So we'll say that, and then we'll discuss what Mayhem does. Uh, so she launches a grenade. This is not the Jack of Hearts. This is an actual grenade. Uh, it's doing significant damage. Look at this. It's doing 239 damage. This is, again, why they say she deals massive damage. It's not her shotgun, her sawed-off shotgun. It's things like Mayhem and the uh, Jack of Hearts that are doing that damage. So this is on top of the DPS she's already doing. So occasionally she throws a grenade. Instead, a uh, of firing her pistol and if we take it to level two each time harley fires her pistol the cooldown of mayhem is reduced by one second in other words you can uh you can reduce it down to like seven seven or eight seconds it's not going to you know, she doesn't shoot that quickly, uh, so it's not going to take off too many seconds, but it was definitely, in my opinion, uh, worth the upgrade uh, for that. And then at tier three, Harley's grenades now deal double damage to objects. It's decently tempting if you are trying to speed through a base uh, and for you know if um this is a, another reason that i am going to use harley over another characters if i'm trying to go for the two or the three star now she's dealing extra damage to objects so i only have to target them for a second or two as opposed to three four five seconds for some of the heftier objects let's uh look at the final tier if i wanted to take it all the way i can't anymore because i've already spent too many points but if i wanted to take this to level four it would increase the damage of harley's grenades moderately so it would be uh, doing 358 damage as opposed to uh, the 239. This is one that I kind of wish I would saved up for possibly because Mayhem does become super, super helpful and having it do more damage more often is obviously quite uh, quite significant. But instead, I decided to do things like unlock bad dogs, which is very helpful you bring two hyenas along they're doing uh they're doing a decent amount of dps and they've got a significant amount of health for tanks uh if you will free tanks every time you raid and then if i take this to tier two or level two it increases the damage that they're dealing so from 80 uh excuse me 38 to 45 and if i took this all the way to tier three they would have a significant amount of health they'd have 900 health each which is fantastic uh finally we see batter up this one is really really helpful uh this is kind of like the riddler's enlightening touch passive skill if you will anytime someone gets close enough she's going to whirl her bat around and knock everyone down she's doing double damage to whoever whatever one individual she's actually targeting and then if i were to level this up we see that her movement speed is boosted as well which is also really handy if you're trying to power through a base so i'm kind of considering this one myself because i generally use her for speed raids in uh, most situations that i'm using harley and ultimately i could if i again if i had more points available i only will have one more available to me i could upgrade to uh the level three where i am increasing the extra damage to the primary target of batter up so that first hit is going to do uh 478 times two to that one target which is kind of cool if you're doing melee with harley but i don't suggest it so that is a rundown of harley i do hope you enjoyed the video if you have any comments or you think i missed anything or you'd like to add anything or just give a shout out please drop us a line in the comment section below as always it has been a pleasure this has been bumbery Please like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you in future videos very soon.